So the men's team lost their longtime number one player, Victor Cron, um, in 22, uh, as well as a couple of others. So uh, we knew that it was um, other, other players needed to step up in order for the team to remain competitive. Um, and that's really what the goal was. Um, for the season, to be in contention for the Ivy and national titles. When the preseason rankings came out, um, we knew that we were the top-seeded team. Having said that, we knew that other teams um, were getting stronger. We knew that Penn was, was still right there. Uh, we knew Trinity was getting a lot of, uh, lot of new players. Um, we knew Yale was getting stronger, so there was, there was just other, all, a lot of other teams who were, who were right there with us. For the season, we, we knew that w probably the toughest match during the regular season is going to be the one uh, against Penn. Um, Penn had beaten our, our team the year before to clinch the Ivy title um, in a very, very close match um, at Penn. And so this year we knew that uh, we had the home court advantage but still were very aware that it was going to be the toughest match of the season. Penn had a very solid start um, to the match and, um, and towards the end it, it really looked like they were going to clinch it. Uh, they were up 4-3 when the last two people stepped on court. Tate Harms um, did what um, no one really expected him to do. He, he fought off multiple match balls um, to fight his way back into the match. Um, and eventually took the match 3-2 and meanwhile his teammate Neil Joshi on the other court had won his match so to come back um, to save multiple match balls and do it in that fashion in front of a home crowd I thought that really set the tone for the rest of the season for the men. Going into nationals um, one of the toughest Potter Cup draws uh, in years again I mean starting from the first round um, playing against Cornell, we knew that this was not going to be easy um, and it was really about being, being really deliberate and efficient in, in the way we do things in order to prepare for the rest of the weekend. The team did extremely well to get through. Um, we were not necessarily expecting to, to play against Trinity, the number six seed team um, in, in, in the final. The way they came out on, on, on that Sunday in the final um, we were really, really struggling, especially at the beginning of the match. Um, we went two love down fairly quickly, and um, Tate Harms, our sophomore who had saved the pen match uh, during the regular season, was down two love again and was facing multiple match balls. And at that point, if we had gone down three love in front of that Trinity crowd, um, I don't think we could have come back from that. That kept us in the match um, and again probably um, created some sort of belief in the other players. Um, I mean we had, we had Ido Burstein um, and Ayush Menon on, on, on two courts who, and they were able to clinch uh, two wins, 11-9 in the fifth, uh, both of them uh, within two minutes. Uh, of each other and, and at that point the match was all of a sudden three all um, and and now we were we were in a situation where where we could actually fight for the national title something that didn't look that likely just you know 10 20 minutes before that it was it was great to see uh, our senior co-captain Marwan Tarek um, handle the pressure with his with his with his, his experience um, and and calmness I mean when 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 matches are when matches are at four three or four all and you're expected to win uh, that's never an easy position to be in and 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 to do it in front of an away crowd um, it it was it was really spectacular to see Marwan um, rise to the occasion stay calm and clinch the title for his team